Okay guys, so I'm a little too excited about this. So before I get into the comparison and playing the songs, I think I found a copyright infringement, which is really exciting, unless it's already a known thing. If so, oh well. But I didn't know, so, and I'm sure most didn't because uh, they're, they're sneaky, you know? They're, they're hard to find unless, especially with, with decades in between. So I love the album by Spoon Hot Thoughts. Great album all the way through. Uh, the only one that's a little bit different from the album that doesn't seem to sync up, but is still in its own right a great song, is Shotgun, which is the second to last on the album. And up until now, I had never noticed any similarities to it to other songs until I came across Kisses, I Was Made For Loving You. And the, the likeness is undeniable. So there's been a few of these copyrighted songs over time. The biggest one right now is Lana Del Rey's whatever the hell it's called. That's not what it's called. I just don't care because it is clearly Creep. Although I also found out recently that Creep had originally ripped off, I guess, The Hollies? And now The Holly, is it The Hollies? If not, I'm sorry. Uh, and now The Hollies are co-writers to Creep because they lost the lawsuit. So, and then now it's Lana Del Rey, and I'm sorry, at least Creep was a fantastic song, and is still fantastic, one of my favorite songs to this day, and they had changed and added something to the melody that was originally the Hollies, again, if that's not the correct band, I'm sorry, uh, but Creep had, uh, Radiohead had added something. What Lana Del Rey did is lazily like grown out a song that was creep it was like if someone tried to cover creep and didn't care enough to learn the words i'm sorry i used to like lana del rey but i don't know she's she's lost the the little something that she had but this is not about lana del rey this is about spoon and kiss so again i'm probably a little too happy but it's just a very it's, there's not many songs that that come to the surface like this. Um, that those like those parallels are are recognized. There's Vanilla Ice, uh, Ice Ice Baby, and Under Pressure. There's Creepin' Lawn Del Rey now, and then there's a couple others. But like I said, it's just it's just a it's a it's an oddity and it's a rarity. So I'm pretty excited. So this is Kiss. Let's give it a listen. Okay, so there you go. Um, so I, I haven't done the research beforehand. So if Spoon did everything that they were supposed to do, or if this was an accident and I'm revealing it, in either case, it's really, really the same kind of build up to this song and the, and the same underlying, like th throughout the, throughout both songs, it's that dicka 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 and then da 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 da. So. Spoon 
again, I don't, I don't, I don't know if this has already been a thing. I really don't think so because I feel like I would have known at this point. But I have, I really have two opinion opinions on this. One, if it was intentional, or was if, if like Spoon was aware, and whether or not they had done what they were supposed to do, meaning like getting rights and stuff like that. If Kiss was meant to be, if Kiss's song was meant to be like a precursor or a prequel to the song Shotgun, makes a lot of sense from a songwriting standpoint, is actually really interesting and cool. And I recommend listening to both songs. Um, I had very much been familiar with Shotgun and the Hot Thoughts album. I listened to Hot Thoughts for like at least a couple of weeks. It was a very enjoyable album and still is. So regardless of this, even though some people feel that Shotgun kind of sticks out amongst the Hot Thoughts album. It's probably because of this, is that the sound is noticeably different. Uh, but overall, I think Hot, Sh Hot Thoughts is an excellent album, should be heard. And if I Was Made For Loving You is a precursor to Shotgun, it makes a lot of sense because Shotgun is basically getting in trouble after sex and I Was Made For Loving You, totally about sex. So in that right, it it works very well if this was not intentional it is very and it is a coinky dinky right but if i'm bringing this to light and i'm like the discoverer of this uh just because the audiences are very different then i'm partially i partially feel bad uh because i really do like spoon i do like shotgun and I like hot thoughts and I like other albums by spoon but I also I also like some stuff from kiss you know so and kiss is obviously undeniably one of the one of the like staples of rock history so what do you think <laughs> I'm gonna open it up I am I'm putting this out there so whatever controversy or lawsuits or nothing comes from this okay that's okay. I, I'm not trying to start anything. I just, I just couldn't believe it because I have heard, I heard Kiss's song today. As far as, like, I, I don't remember hearing it prior to today. I probably have probably come across it when I was younger, but catching up on my classic rock, I came across it and I know Hot Thoughts so well that I couldn't I knew I knew immediately that it was shotgun. It was it was worth me coming on here and talking to you guys. And it's been a really great time. So this is just a little I'm I'm also I'm I'm a little bit less eloquent than I normally try to be. But it's just because I'm really excited in like a and, and, and that I don't know how to react. I don't know how to place my feelings. Like, Lana Del Rey immediately knew what my reaction was. Ice Ice Baby immediately knew what I, my reaction was because I knew where my loyalty lied. I love Radiohead. I love uh, David Bowie and Queen. So, to get kind of caught in the middle here, I'm a little, like, I really love the Hot Thoughts album. And I'm, I really like Spoon. So to be like, oh, but that's Kiss. And it's Kiss. How can you not, how can you be a rock fan and not have some loyalty to Kiss, regardless if you're a classic rock person, you know? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this out into the, the YouTube-averse uh, and see what comes from it because I think it's worth having a conversation about. So normally I I would have a very clear sign off and like a very clear point I, I would come to the realization along with my video because these can my videos tend to be very free form and conversational and and casual so I don't really know how to end this I'd say probably just with the songs again so it's spoon shotgun versus kiss I was made for loving you. Um, and yeah, so that's it for me. And have a great day. You can like and share and let's 
let's figure out what's ha let, let's make this happen let's make let's get